in one of the sample rooms here at Diane's studio where a lot of creative thinking happens every day and a fair amount of math problem solving too. It's the perfect place to start and I'm here with our aspiring costume designer Drew who's brought that impressive drawing of his warrior monk cape. He's measured everything in the drawing, but now it's time to make it real. We want to know how he can make a life-size pattern for his cape based on his drawing. So Drew, is there anything more specific we need to know about your design before we create the pattern? Yeah, my cloak has two sides to it. The okay. outside is more formal and is sort of the function is to protect the monk from the weather, so it's heavy and warm. Um, the inside, though, is uh, it, it's got earth tones, so it's camouflage. So if the monk needs to, he could just reverse his cloak around and disappear into the landscape. So it's reversible? It is reversible. And it requires two different conceptualizations of pattern? Yes. Okay, well, that's very good to know. It's very specific information. Thank you very much. Good. I've enlisted my good friend at Scholastic, math expert Kim Egan, to explain how to use scaling to find the new dimensions. And I've asked Project Runway Season 11 designer Samantha Black to construct all of our students' designs. All right, Kim, you were a former math teacher. Show us how to make it work. I sure will, Tim. So, Drew, the first thing we'll have to do is determine the ratio of the length of the torso in your drawing to the length of the mannequin's torso. I can see that the length of the torso in your drawing is 4 inches from the hip to the shoulder and the length of the mannequin's torso is 2 feet or 24 inches from the hip to the shoulder. 24 divided by 4 is 6. That means that everything in your drawing is 6 times smaller than it will be in the pattern. So that's a ratio of 1 to 6. 